Welcome to the Morning Star Series Three Stock Picks. I'm Holly Black. With me is Ailsa Craig. She's manager of the International Biotechnology Trust. Hello. Hi there. And today you're going to tell us about three stocks in the portfolio that you're quite yep. excited about. Where would you like to start? Well, I've chosen two oncology companies and one CNS company, and CNS stands for Central Nervous System. So the first stock I've picked is uh, the largest of the three. It's $13 billion in market cap. It's actually a Danish company, and it's called Genmab. And they, in the olden days, well, the, in previous times, to treat cancer, you would give people chemotherapy, which basically just kills all dividing cells indiscriminately. What they've done is they've got an antibody platform where um, they specifically target the tumour itself and not the rest of the body. Um, and so that product is called Starslex. It's approved, it's on the market, it's going to sell approximately two billion this year, and it's partnered with Johnson & Johnson. And so we like that because there's no other CD38 um, targeted drugs out there, so it's effectively a monopoly at the moment, anyway. So it can command a high price. Presumably, it won't stay a monopoly forever, though. How no, it, it yeah, exactly there? right. Then that's a, that's one of the um, characteristics of this sector. You will get competition eventually, but at the moment, it really is the only one out there to treat this particular form of blood cancer. But do you get first mover advantage, and people trust your brand? So even if someone else comes along with the same technology, I think with. But certainly in some areas it's like that, but with, gen, with oncology, everyone just wants a drug that works. They want something that's efficacious. Um, and this is, this is extremely efficacious for a particular type of multiple myeloma. Super. What's well, stock number two? So stock number two, again, is another oncology company. This is a small cap company. It's about 500 million in market cap. Um, and so it's for more of sort of if you have a higher risk appetite, if you like. And that's called Stemline. Um, and again, this is for another hematological cancer. Uh, and it's incredibly rare, and they have a tar they're targeting um, a molecule CD123 on the cancer cells. And again, no other competition on the market. It's a very small market at the moment, but it's, they're looking at other hematological indications to see if it will work in those, and it could generate um, more sales from new indications. And this is a company we think won't stay independent for long. It would fit quite nicely with a mid-sized oncology company. And there is quite a lot of M&A in this sector. M&A is the broad theme for the sector. What we've seen over the years is uh, companies that have products with sort of slowing growth need to regenerate their growth and they acquire up other companies. And it doesn't just have to be small companies. We're seeing large and mid-sized companies being acquired as well. And presumably a company that's focusing on such a niche area of oncology kind of needs to be bought because that, is that profitable to be so niche? I, I think... There are definitely synergies, especially if they've, let's say, a company already has a product within that type of, they're selling with, into that um, hospital, for example, already. Um, uh, and you're absolutely right, we have got a fairly fragmented uh, market, so we are expecting consolidation. We've had a number of IPOs over the last decade and many companies where it would be much more efficient if they combined. So we think this is an ongoing theme. And International Biotechnology Trust has approximately four to five transactions a year where our portfolio companies are acquired by other companies. Oh, right, gosh. So what's our final stock? So the last stock is a mid-sized company called Neurocrine, and that's $9 billion in market cap, and that's a central nervous system company. And it's drug um, that they've got launched at the moment. It's actually got two drugs launched now. The lead one, though, is called Ingresa, and that treats a movement disorder called tardive dyskinesia. And we expect uh, peak sales for that drug to be one to two billion. Um, it's been launched for a couple of years now and growing really nicely. And that's another m and candidate as well, we believe. What, what is that disease and how does the drug help? So it's a move, if, if um, patients are on antipsychotics, it's one of the side effects of that is that they get these irreversible movement disorders. I don't know if you've seen that where people are kind of flinching and, um, and it's really, really upsetting for the patient and it doesn't stop. So even if you come off the antipsychotics, you've got it for life. And this drug basically um, addresses those movement disorders by um, working on the synapse within your uh, nervous system. Super. Well, thank you so much for no your worries. time. Thank you. And thanks for joining us.